Hi, hi. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening up a package that I purchased from Shop SA. It is pretty big. I don't think I've gotten one this large before, but I did purchase quite a bit of things. I don't like to pay shipping and it was $35 and then no shipping. But everything was like a dollar at Shop SA. So I had to fill up my cart, which you wouldn't think would be so hard for me, but it kind of was. But we're going to open this up today and try on some items that I have inside here. I'm not entirely sure I remember what I bought, but I think I bought like a full face maybe. If not, we'll go ahead and fill in with what I have here already. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I found Shop Miss A through... There's actually a few YouTubers, and it was weird because it was like a video about dollar makeup, and I'm like, oh, so you went to like the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store, or like you got really lucky with coupons at Walgreens or something. But no, it's Shop Miss A. Everything there is pretty much a dollar, which I thought was really cool. Um, let me open this here. This is my handy dandy. Can I? Boom. Weird. Oh, cute. Okay, cool. So it tells me everything I got on here. It's like a little shipping thing. Um, sorry about my hair. I just got out of the shower. I'm starting off my day, but I wanted to start off with the items I purchased so I can give them a good go around. And this is actually pretty big, but um, I ordered... A lot of stuff, as you can see. I went on the back, too, I guess. We're just double-sided. It's okay. Um, quite a bit. They had to tape it. So let's get our handy-dandy kitchen knife. And slice the slice again. I'm going to have to invest in one of those box cutters. I mean, like, we already have one somewhere. I should probably just find the box cutter <clears throat> and use that because that seems safe. Oh my. Okay. I'm gonna just clear a spot and what is this? Huge. Oh. oh okay. You're gonna like this. First of all. Well, cute packaging bubble wrap you have the foamy wrap you have this cute little mist a sticker on the inside so you know what you're getting this is actually really nice and these are huge thick bubbles so I have faith whatever I bought is coming to me safely and this is a lot but first I want to go over this because this is like super cute I don't even remember getting this but I do this a lot and hmm, it's not bad this looks like it is the Flawless Fantasy Set. It's a five-piece brush set. Brush set? We're going to talk slower. Yeah. This is a five-piece brush set from Michaela. I think I'm saying that right. And it is the Enchanted Glam. I liked it because it had like the little rainbow. And then the brush handles look like they would be pretty easy to hang on to. So... I'm gonna take these out and just feel them. So this is pretty huge. I don't think this was a dollar. I think this was five dollars, honestly. So, all right. So, although this does not show how much I paid, this does. And I ended up paying $36.80 for everything with free shipping. And this all looks pretty good. Anyway, back to the items. So this was $5. I didn't have it listed on here, but I was able to pull it up on my phone. Um, so that's pretty good, a dollar brush. And they feel pretty soft. I'm kind of shocked. They're heavy in the front, which is really good. That's what I like. That way I know I'm actually doing something. This is nice. Okay. All right. 
Hmm. No, we're good. Nothing's falling out, so that's good. Look how cute this is. It's like got all the little rainbowy things in here. I like it. That's a trips. I'm gonna put you back in here because I'm sure we're gonna use it at some point. Oh my god, these. These are wonderful. Hold on, let me show you. So I had originally heard about Shop Miss A and how everybody was using their little beauty sponge and they're like, this is the softest, this is the best, this is amazing. And I was really skeptical because it's a dollar. I ended up purchasing it, this one to be exact, it's $1.88 and it is amazing. This is the softest thing I've ever put on my face and you can tell by how much I've used this one and then my new one. So, super cute. The reason actually it's not a dollar and it's a dollar eighty-eight is because part of the proceeds from this actually go to a charity and I believe it's for education because it has a little A plus symbol up here. Which I thought was really neat. Oh yeah, I bought two. Dollar eighty-eight a piece. But trust me when I say this, and if you don't believe me, go try it for yourself. This is the softest thing you will ever use to put makeup on your face. It is it is amazing. I love this. So $1.88 a piece. I also went on to get these, the Pawpaws. It's a six pack and let's see how much we paid for it. A Pawpaw six pack was $8.85. Yeah? Yeah. So a six pack was $8.85 and I believe each of these are $1.88 a piece as well because they have this little, where is it, on the back here. So this part of the proceeds will go towards protecting animals against abuse. Good investment for me because I'm already going to be using products like this. Part of the proceeds from what I buy are going towards a charity anyway. So super cool. I've used these obviously, fell in love with them, but I see these on their website. It it's supposed to be like amazing, really great. I think the only difference with these and this is that they don't have the little flat edge here. Oh, this is the Argan Oil Sponge Soap. It was not a dollar, but a dollar fifty-five because it goes towards the, or sorry, part of the proceeds go towards helping animals against abuse. And this is like a little cleany thing for your sponge. So I was hoping this would be a little bit easier. I do have a few sponges, but going in with baby soap every time is kind of like tasking. I want to see if this is going to be a little bit easier because just keep right there, unscrew, scrub, do my thing. We'll see, but very cute. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this. AOA is the brand from Shop Miss A where pretty much everything is a dollar except for the products that have part of the proceeds going towards any kind of charities but that is what this is this is this is the brushes were their own brand though so just a little heads up i think i really fell in love with this type of brand or with this brand when i ended up getting a lot of the products um okay this So this is actually a product from Cala. I hope I'm saying that right. It is a mascara brush and I don't have enough of these. I think I only have one, but I love to take care. Oh, damn. I love to take care of my brows. This one actually was the, I think it was like a luxury mascara brush is what it said, luxury spoolie brush so it comes in this nice like super soft pouch which thank you by the way Kala I'm probably just gonna keep it out here on my counter or with me because these brows need attention almost 24-7 but here it is very cute and this was a dollar whole dollar Very nice, though I like how thin this is, the handle. A lot of times you'll get like super thick ones compared to the actual spoolie. And this isn't too big, it's not too bad. Seems to do the trick, just nice. And it's a little harder than the ones I have. I don't know if it's just the ones I have. I've been using so much that they're softer, but I really, 
enjoy this one with the bristles that are a little bit harder because sometimes my brows need to really be put in their place so this is neat um i'm gonna put this back in here probably probably not back in the box but yeah what else do we have here oh this little fella i've been doing my own nails at home since the whole covid19 pandemic quarantine things has been happening so i've been doing my own nails and one thing that i ran out of was my little nail buffer and i usually go to sally's to get another one or a replacement one but they're usually open when i'm working so i'm not able to like just zoom over there pick one up and come back but i found one on shop miss a and i think don't quote me here i think this was a dollar dollar okay white nail standing block and i don't use this to like go around my nails or anything like that i've been doing my own gel color at home so what i do is i buff off the top layer like the shiny layer and then i put on the nail polish remover leave it there for about 5 to 15 minutes depending on how stubborn it wants to be and then it comes right off no problem but this is going to come in handy so much and it was a dollar thank you shop miss a nice and i'll be using that later on this morning because i don't know if you can tell but I have to redo my nails because, yeah. Also, picked this little cutie up. I thought it was actually going to be smaller, but this is a pretty big, it's a mirror. And it is from the AOA Studio from Shop Miss Day. Cute little handle. That is actually really big. Anyway, that's pretty cool. I'm going to definitely use that. Just because I'm usually sitting here or in the bedroom or wherever I'm doing my makeup, I don't always have a mirror to take with me. And a lot of the times the palettes or whatever I have that I'm using don't have mirrors on them. And that totally sucks. But I'm going to start investing in little mirrors like that to leave everywhere or take everywhere with me. So that way I have that ability to do my makeup wherever. Next. Okay, let's come in with these little guys. Let me actually check. Doll hair. Doll hair. Okay. So each of these were a dollar. And I know I need to learn how to do these before I actually start buying and investing in them. But these, these kind of seem like they were going to be up my alley just because when I do do my eyelashes... They come out similar to like this, and this seems a little bit more wispy and out there. But each of these were a dollar. This one is from AOA Studio, and this is in the style Natalia. You can see right there. And then this one was from Cara Beauty, and it is style number 503. Also really cute. I think these ones are a little bit more simple, and these ones are a smidge bit more dramatic. Either way, I want to learn to do false lashes because it seems like it's a lot more simple and quick just from like seeing people do it compared to me doing my mascara because sometimes I'm cool with one coat and then other times I know I have to do two coats and I have to go back for touch-ups or something, you know, but these seem like it's kind of like once you get the hang of it though. Right off the bat, I'm pretty sure they're just going to take me at least 20 minutes to put on, but you just place it set it and you're good all day that's kind of what I want so we we will see if I can accomplish that goal with these and each of these were a dollar one dollar one dollar hair cool. um and then to go with it I got this it is the super strong super strip lash adhesive from studio AOA studio and it is $1.88 because part of the proceeds do go towards education, I believe. Yeah, because it has a little A plus symbol right there and it tells you here. Oh yeah, and it says at the bottom too, a part of the proceeds go towards supporting children's education. Also has like a little cruelty free thing down here for animals. Cool. Um, I got this one just because it was one of the number one sellers on the site. I also like that you have the um, hypoallergenic no irritation and it's clear. We'll see how these go. I'm going to try this out with the lashes. Maybe I'll do a video. 
so you guys can watch my frustration from your couch. And then, okay, this is like an actual, actually a pretty big bag of a bunch of stuff I ended up getting. As you can see here, I got a little bit of everything here. That's pretty cool. Um, I like this usually when you get a bunch of little things from AOA Studio or whatever. They put it in these cute little bags. Thank you. Stop missing. Keeping everything organized and keeping things from flying around inside the package. Really nice. Let's start. Oh, okay. Here we go. Lip makeup remover pads. And this was a dollar, mind you. Um, this is really cute, though. I got this. Because I know with a lot of the products I have, like my Kylie Cosmetics, the lipstick does not want to come off. And I have to end up digging into like a big huge makeup wipe or something like that. Even after I scrub with soap and everything, I still have to use my big makeup wipe. I figured these would be super handy to just take out a tiny little one, which it's actually a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. But like shorter, if that makes sense. But wipe it on take it off and we're done so i am looking forward to trying these out this should be fun a dollar a dollar next up okay this is actually smaller than i thought it was gonna be this is the aoa studio perfect blush and this is in the shade darling it is much smaller than i thought it was gonna be but still okay hmm Pretty simple, darling. Blush. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I wanted something that was going to be a little bit darker and kind of neutral tone, so we'll give this a try today, most likely. Yeah, we'll see. Next, dang, okay, so this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is also a dollar. This is the AOA Studio Sugar Lip Scrub, and I imagine it is in the... It is honey just because there's a little bee right there I know a lot of companies will be coming out with like the lip scrubs the last one I got I think was from bite beauty and theirs is pretty nice I want to see how this stacks up to it though because this is a dollar and that one I think retails for like 20 some dollars so that should be interesting to see how they compare but that is really cute I don't think I need it right now but I'm going to be using that in the future. Um, then I have the Artista eyeliner pen. And of course, the black. Because you can never go wrong with black. Here it is. You might be able to use this. I like the brushes. So I'm hoping this is like a brush tip, not the felt tip. I don't think it really said... We'll see. I mean, some felt tips are pretty good anyway, so we'll have to give this a try anyway. Um, and then these two, these are both from AOA Studio. And... Oh, they're gel eyeliners. Tells me right here. AOA Studio gel eyeliners. And one is in the color Royal Purple. Blah, Royal Purple. And the other one is in black and in case you forget how to read or you don't wear your glasses like I do most of the time they have the colors at the bottom here you have a purple and a black so that's cool and then last we have these two little cuties these are buildable satin foundations and these are each a dollar 88 because they do um, part of the proceeds do go towards charity do go towards education sorry i was a little confused because on the side here it says buff but on the side here it doesn't say anything but on the bottom one says buff and one says sand i got two just because i wasn't too sure which one would match me so well right now but they were a dollar 88 a piece so i figured why not get them both it makes a match if i need to so that is about it um for all of this, everything on here and that little bit there, I paid, what, $36, I think I said? Let me just pull it up on my handy-dandy phone. 
$36.80. And the most expensive thing at $8.85, you are going to get the AOA Studio Paw Paw Wonder Blender. Six of them for $8.85. So that's really a good deal considering like if you get the fancy beauty blender, those are I think $20. And if you get a step down, you're maybe looking at like 12 something. I have my, what is it, the Wonder Blender, the one that has the silicone on the outside. That one I think is also $20, but I got it on sale, so it was like $15 or $14. But that's still quite a bit compared to these. So yeah. Overall, really good haul, really good experience. Um, I did not get primer. So I'm going to get the items I need really quick. And then we will come back and put everything else on with the AOA Studio. Okay? So, uno momento while I get this together. I prepped with my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm Moisturizer. I know it's a mouthful, but it's amazing. We're going to go in with my AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundations. I want to say the buff is a little too light and the sand is dark, but I want to try the sand just because I feel like I've been wearing a lot of sunscreen lately, so my face hasn't gotten any of the sun that we have in Arizona lately, but the rest of my body has, as you can tell. But I'll give this a try, see if we can even me out here. I can open this. I like how they have a little sticker on the bottom too because without that and if you put it on the side like this when I peel this off I'd have no idea what this was. Oh that's nice. This is glass. It says shake well. Oh we got a dropper. Dropper stopper. Oh this is pretty liquidy. I'm going to come in with my Moshi Wonder Blender. You can see how huge this thing gets. This was 304 Sand. I think we have a pretty close match here. Um, I believe the buff was a little bit lighter. This may actually be my winter shade, but wow. I'm pretty darn, pretty darn impressed. Okay. Oh, I want to come in with this, the little sculpting stick. So I'll just come in and sculpt away. I don't know if you can tell, but upon application, this looks super gray. This isn't like Mm. We're going to give it a try though, okay? We're giving it a try. And this is in the sh shade Nude. It looks pretty gray. But let's see. I open the, bra the, blah, the blush. It's pretty tiny. But I like the packaging. Oh, okay. It actually looks a lot lighter compared to when I have it in here. Probably not to you, maybe it's just me. Um, I'm gonna come in with one of my brushes. I'm gonna come in with this one, the flat angled brush. Let me put this one. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is flat. Just go in. This one though is a little bit more tough, I must say. Oh my. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. This is really cute. I know I have a blush problem, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. That is very nice. Ooh. Okay. It is a brush tip. Look at that. Probably think I'm crazy, probably can't see. You can go from thick 
all the way to then. So I'm gonna just apply this real quick and BRB, because you don't wanna sit through that. I'm very, we, we did okay. I know I'm like trying to bend down, bend over. The one thing I do not like about this is when I try to do a very thin line like I did here. Watch, it's not going to do it now. It doesn't like to come out just at the tip. Oh, it's doing it now. But on my eye it was not. So I had to push down a little more. It got thick. It got a little bumpy. Yeah. It's okay. We're doing fine. And this I actually already had. You can already... You can tell because of how worn off everything is. This is my AOA Studio Go Brow. A dollar. I'm going to just really quickly apply this to my brows. And real quick, I'm going to come in with my CoverGirl Clean and Fresh Setting Spray. Okay. I just wanted some assurance my face wasn't going anywhere because it still felt a little wet. And this kind of like dries it up a bit. It's like my little glue that just holds it all down. Um, next, I was going to go in with one of these, and I kind of want to go over purple because I always do black. Black is like my go-to, so I want to try the purple today. And this is the gel liner. Also has 5 million things of wrapping on it. Oh, it's soft. Let me just come in here. Hmm. Yeah, that's it down here. It's pretty light for what it is, but let's give it a try. Is it glittery? You're not glittery, are you? It's glittery. We'll give it a try. Yeah? Just going to come in on my waterline. That's kind of why I like the gel, because the gel is supposed to be a little bit easier for me on my waterline. So... It's not going on at all. No. I even tried to get, thinking there was like a film or something on the top, maybe that I needed to get off. I went ahead and went bananas on my hand. That is not the case. This is not going on at all. I'm going to switch over to the black. Look, it's got the matte. It says AOA Studio Gel Liner. And, oh, actually, I think the name came off of it because it's not on here anymore. But thank goodness you have the black on the bottom. This one, oh, 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 this is not going how I thought it would. Um, how did I think it was gonna go? Better than that. I don't know if I have a shirt right now. I'm fine. <clears throat> Dug around, found my sharpener from Ulta. Thank goodness I bought this thing. Okay. Here we go. This one actually went on though. I'm pretty surprised. I don't know if I just need to break the other one and sharpen it, but yeah, that would be what this is. So we'll have to give it a try. Definitely does not send up to my Urban Decay or the Smashbox. Urban Decay is by far the best gel liner I have, but that's like 28 to $21 a pencil and this is a dollar so not a huge loss so I gotta say um everything looks like it came in pretty well um aside from the eyeliner oh let me throw on some mascara real quick I'm gonna go with my covergirl exhibitionist uncensored because I have it here and it kind of goes with a low cost theme here I have yet to get a mascara from Shop Miss A. A lot of their stuff has been sold out though and I honestly think it's because of quarantine things and people staying home and buying a lot of things online to come to the house because that's what I've been doing. So I'm going to slap this on real quick. Okay. That's it. 
pretty much. Um, the only thing I think I'm not too cheesed about is going to be the gel liners. Everything else looks like it did really well. I was hella skeptical about this too, the little sculpting contour stick. Sculpt FX contour stick just because it's gray. But it actually gives that little shadow effect on my face, so I'm going to have to just wear it out and see how it does. Um, but yeah. So far pretty. So far so good. So, everything looks pretty good so far. Yeah. I know. It looks nice. And once you throw on mascara and a little bit of eyeliner, it all really just pops together. I think. Love the blush. Very pinky. Super cute. I didn't get a highlighter because I believe that was also sold out. So, yeah. This is actually a really good purchase. I'm super happy with everything I got. Um, and this is a really good makeup option, whether you're just beginning or you want to go and try something new. This is definitely something I recommend. Uh, I haven't tried these yet. I'll let you know. But the Moshi Wonder Blender, my fave. Tried a few other things on my face, and it just, it makes my day. So, yeah. Go ahead. Give them a try. Go check them out. It is shopmissa.com, I believe. Go ahead and Google them. They're amazing. The majority of the products there are a dollar, if not, and they come in packs like this. You can kind of understand why. It's like five dollars and one, so it's five dollar. Anyway, you get it. Um, go check them out. Shop Miss Say. Love, love, love all the products. Um, I'm gonna keep trying these gel eyeliners. I'm seriously gonna try breaking this and then sharpening it down to where I might be able to use it. But yeah. That is all I have today. Thanks for hanging out. Let me know if you tried anything from Shop Miss A, if there's anything I need to try. I know a lot of stuff is sold out right now, but I'm hoping within the next few months here, a lot of it starts to bounce back and come back, and then I can give it a try as well. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you have anything, you tried anything, you like anything. Yeah, and we'll do this again next time. Um, usually we do this Thursday, Sunday, so yeah. Sounds cool. Thanks for hanging and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.